Those layoffs are sure to have a major impact on businesses like the ones here on Pike Avenue in Columbus and beyond. Layoffs are nothing new at the Sabanye Stillwater Mine. They've laid off people before. It's something families know is always a possibility. The mine does this every several years. But the announcement this time that 680 employees would be losing their jobs and that the functions of three major operations would be reduced was on a scale that Stillwater County residents had never heard before. It was just a different situation. Sarah Hape and her husband saw the writing on the wall moving out of Columbus two months ago after her husband had worked at the mine for 20 years. He would be so upset about everything at work like it you know would change his attitude at home and he I think realized that he was getting to that point again and didn't want to do it. That decision a tough one for someone who had always lived in Montana. It was really hard for him but I think it would have been harder having to go through this and not knowing what we were going to do. You feel for all the families, you, you know, that are involved right now. The Hapes are just one of many families that depended on the mine, with many more still unsure of their future. We don't really know what the impact's going to be yet. Real estate broker Sean Russell says it's too early to tell how catastrophic these losses could be to the Columbus community, but it's sure to have a ripple effect on everything from homes and businesses to schools and even real estate. We don't know yet of how many of those people are going to move or you know, are going to stay here too. Russell fears many may move once the layoffs happen. That could mean more houses available and more homes would mean a dip in market prices. There's a lot of unknowns right now. Stillwater County Commissioner Tyrell Hamilton was out of town Monday, but in a statement hinted that commissioners saw the writing on the wall as well. Writing, quote, anticipating lower than normal revenue caused by the low price of palladium, we cut nearly $2.5 million from the 24-25 budget. We will now look at ways we can support the economic base in Stillwater County through our economic development and planning department. It's going to take a lot out of the local economy without having everybody there. And with many uncertainties still, one thing is true. There will be big changes for many in Stillwater County. And I guess you just kind of hope that it won't stay this way, but it's going to be hard for a lot of people until it comes back. In Columbus, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.